Hey folks, Tanner Turney up here in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Checking in this week, give you an update on how the ice out is going, how the shore fishing's faring. Um, again, not in the sh on shore right now. There are some areas to target, but I'm actually getting ready to go paddle fishing this weekend. So my emphasis has been getting that stuff ready before I uh, go wet a line and chase some spring walleyes. Um, for those of you that were following along on Johnny's uh, Facebook Live here the other night, he was driving around looking at some of the access. Um, you know, with him and a few other guys, it sounds like everyone's kind of ideal ice out it looks like we're going to be about ooh, a week to probably two weeks out um, everyone looks like they're shooting for like may 14th may 16th is when we hope fingers crossed that ice will be completely off devil's lake um, but there is some open water right now obviously that ice is really softening up um, but if you look at six mile bay highway 57 mave Cooley, they've all got different variances of open water you know whether it's a quarter mile a um, couple hundred yards that wind really shifts things around during the day but there are some opportunities to get out and about and wet a line. Um, not so much with a boat, but from shore right now. And then if you are a little bit more venturous and you want to go up and chase some of the northern feeder areas, whether it's the coolies that feed in from the Candu, Webster area, um, there is some water up there. And actually from the reports, there are some pretty good bites going. Um, hoping to go check those out next week when I'm back from uh, out west. Uh, but definitely some opportunities there. Um, one thing I just wanted to touch on, that maybe will help uh, save some time, you know, as you get ready to come up shore fishing, whether you're traveling from, you know, 20 miles away or 400 miles away. Uh, just like we talk about with waterfall hunting, scouting can be a super beneficial thing, especially from shore. Uh, it's so easy on your phone these days to download the Navionics app. You can drill down on the Navionics app, zoom in, find those roads, find those shorelines, look at contour lines, show you culverts, different things like that, that we all talk about that play into a good spring walleye bite. And once you find those areas, then you can go over to what I call my best friend, which is Google Earth, and look at the access points to get to those spots that you've found. You know, whether it's a highway, is it riprap? Uh, is it a flooded road that, you know, the road's closed a quarter mile back that you're gonna have to park and walk to? All this plays into, you know, time is money. And, you know, we talk about right now that you can fish all day long, but the most beneficial time to fish in the spring is that water gets a little bit warmer is that late afternoon, evening time. It's a miracle and amazing how fast that sunlight during the day, once it peaks over the horizon, gets straight above, can warm that water up. You know, 48 to 50 degrees is that key temp that things really start to be snapping. And it's amazing in, you know, a few short hours how quickly that can happen. So by taking advantage of Navionics and Google Earth, utilizing later times in the day, you're going to put a lot more odds into your favor there to catch a few springtime walleye. Um, hoping to get out next week on the shorelines, give you an actual report with a rod in hand once I get back from paddle fishing. But like I said, you know, seven to 10 days, maybe a little bit past that 10 days, depends on how everything plays out. Uh, hopefully we'll have full open water up here in Devil's Lake, but it's coming very soon. Uh, for those that are out shore fishing or looking to go this weekend, again, quarter ounce jig with paddle tails are ideal. And if you can find minnows, also a great option. Um, but make sure to use hashtag Devils Lake ND. We love seeing what everyone's doing out there and uh, we'll keep you updated and keep the lines tight.